week, five deputy recruits with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, who were part of Police Recruit Class 223, graduated from the Law Enforcement Academy. A graduation ceremony was held at the St. Petersburg College Allstate Center, and with family and friends in attendance, the members were presented with their completion diplomas and agency badges. Also in attendance was Sheriff Bob Galtieri, along with other local law enforcement leaders. These members will now enter into an in-house training where they will train on low and high liability skills before they are released to the road for several months of field training. Congratulations to the recruits and good luck to them as they embark on their new law enforcement careers. The Valspar Golf Championship kicked off this week and will run through the weekend. The tournament is held at the Copperhead Course at the Innisbrook Resort in Palm Harbor. Over 30 deputies will be patrolling over 50 acres to help assist security with keeping the area safe for players and spectators. Time is running out to apply for the Sheriff Citizens Association Community Grant. If you know of a local organization or initiative that supports youth, send them our way. Individual grants are awarded up to $1,000 and applications are due by March 31st. Learn more and download the application at pcsoweb.com. In this week's issue of Inside the Star, we continue to highlight the women of PCSO with Lieutenant Kim Killian, drop more tips on securing your green, and share the latest from Canine School. Inside the Star hits email inboxes every other Tuesday, and you can sign up to receive it at pcsoweb.com slash inside the star. In recognition of St. Patrick's Day, we had some fun with yesterday's throwback. For the first 48 years of the PCSO, we didn't have a uniform patrol division as that function was handled by county patrol. That changed in 1960 when the Board of County Commissioners asked Sheriff Janung to take over County Patrol's responsibilities. Check out this photo of the entire patrol division at the time in their forest green uniforms that made us unpinchable since 1960.